Good day to all of us. Today we are going to talk about what is a community immersion. First, let me introduce myself. I'm Angelica May Vida now from first year BSND and I am the representative from the first group of presenters. When we talk about community immersion, what swims into your sea of thought? Is there service in it? Experience? Immersing or exposure? Assisting or maybe programs and projects? Let's define it. So community immersion is an essential strategy in community concerns, projects, dynamic, and lifestyle through exposure and engaging in different activities. It is devised as a strategy in moving and conscientizing students just so that they may be socially aware and responsible to their communities. This manner of transformation is bent on training the youth to become civic conscious and defense prepared individuals. Students tend to apply what they have learned in school. It engages the students into real-life situations to extend their knowledge and learnings via the classroom and into the community. As part of the program, students may help out at local soup kitchens, host social activities for a community group such as seniors, or clean trash from roads or trails, plan activities with children or help individuals with their jobs. The programs can last from a few days to several weeks, depending on the purpose. As a student, how would we involve ourselves? Our group says, as a student, we can involve ourselves through these activities by engaging through different forms of integration in community immersion, such as home visits, living with selected families, informal discussions with individuals or groups, sharing in a household and community activities, attendance in social gatherings, and assistance in production work. Some of my groupmates have tried volunteering in tree planting or cleaning activities in their community, and one says he will use his skills as an athlete. For example, sharing his knowledge in swimming and basketball, he is willing to volunteer to train or teach the children on how to play or swim, which may help them to have a healthy lifestyle by being physically fit, and that is one way of preventing them to get involved in wrongdoings. As a student, we must be involved in learning the societal issues that constituents put in marginalized sectors. Defining where are they in the class hierarchy can make us develop a solution that can make changes in their life. Being able to see the struggles of the senior citizens, youth delinquents, and many more will give us more reasoning to understand them. What dimensions would you like to develop? We would like to develop the economic and cultural dimensions of a community. Our group suggests that in order to improve the economic dimensions of a community target, we will conduct a survey regarding to what the main livelihood of that community is and plan to teach of something that could possibly help them to further develop their source of income. Boost on the community's economic growth and security of livelihoods would be the expected outcomes. Second is the cultural dimensions, which will focus on changing the ways of how people live in a community in terms of cleanliness. We will conduct a cleanup drive, which aims to promote and raise awareness concerning to environmental problems and issues. The expected outcome would be the development of their skills in waste management, recycling, and reusing, and will improve their outdoor recreational activities. Third is the service learning that we believe to be beneficial especially for the youth due to the fact that they are more likely to remain engaged when they see that their participation is inducing positive effects. This helps youth to realize that they are able to make useful contributions to the society through service and social action. It also helps us students to cultivate connections between various organizations, schools, and community groups which can prove to be very useful later on in life. Second, this would be favorable for students who are striving to learn skills on economics, business management, social work, and so forth. Also for the students who are introverts that struggles with social interactions. Putting them in practical environments would help them acquire hands-on experiences as with the famous quotation, experience is the best teacher. Overall, this pandemic may be affecting us big time in so many ways, but as a student, 
Let's hold on even on the tiniest hope we have because someday we'll soar and it won't hinder us from learning and sharing knowledge to everyone. Thank you for watching.